Welcome to Plantside Command Center. I'm Tramel Isaac, Senior Art Director for Plantside 2. This is my esteemed colleague, Matt Higby, Hi. Creative Director for Plantside 2. And we're going to bring you a bunch of new stuff coming from our brand new studio here in SOE, uh, talking about Plantside 2 and the upcoming things. Why don't you run down some of the things that we're going to do? I could not be today. more excited for today. Planetside Command Center, this is going to be a really, really cool way for us to communicate all the cool stuff that's going on behind the scenes at Planetside 2 to all you guys out there. Today we're going to be talking about E3, all mm -hmm. the cool events that happened there, Planetside 1 community event that just went down. Yep. We're going to be talking about the Infiltrator a little bit, showing you guys some cool behind the scenes information about him. Uh, you're going to be doing a segment on the costumes from E3. We're going to have a fan spam segment that's all about fan art that's been sent in. But first, we're going to have Josh Hackney in studio here doing an interview, talking about beta, talking about all things leading up to beta. Who the so heck is Josh Hackney? Josh Hackney's our executive producer. Have you met Josh? Uh, no. You're going to be really excited. It's going to be a thrill. Oh, He's yeah. uh, our executive producer. He is the, the boss. He runs the whole shebang. It's all him. It's all him. If He's it's bad, it's his fault. That's right. Yep. Blame Josh. <laughs> so. He's going to be here. He's going to be talking about beta, letting you guys know what the scoop is, letting us know what the scoop is. I'd love to know what the scoop is. I'd like to know. People when ask is, me, I have no when idea. When is beta going to start? That's yeah. what I want to know because people keep asking me. Right, yeah. People should be asking Josh. I don't really even know what to say. But well, like, we can ask Josh and then we'll know asking. and then we can, we can tell them. I'm going to ask him. Sounds good to me. I'm going to ask him as many times as people ask me. And maybe... <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole interview? <laughs> that's all. Who's beta? Who's beta? Who's beta? <laughs> All right, so first up, you guys, we got Joshua Hackney here in the studio to answer some questions. Um, yeah, Josh Hackney. <laughs> so Josh, why don't you talk a bit about yourself and what you do on the team? Uh, so I'm the executive producer on Planet Side 2. Uh, been working on it since know, about a year, year and a half at this point. Um, before that, I was working on the agency and I and had worked at eight at uh, Activision, Atari, uh, some of the other publishers that are out there. So you've got been a around. long history. He's been around. He's been around. He's been yeah, I, I heard about him. him. Yeah, yeah, no, the gray hairs only came in the last in the last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm responsible for a couple of those. Oh so. yeah, at least about ten. All right. Well, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to ask the question on everybody's mind, question on everybody's lips. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You want to ask? I'm going to ask. This All right, you ask. Go for it. Everybody wants to know. What cologne do you wear? <laughs> I told you it was aloe. Aloe, dude. <laughs> that's not, I don't, I don't, is that, no, it's not, not really a cologne. Like it's aloe. I just rub it all over my oh, body. Sure. It's oh, great. Question or not. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, go ahead and ask the real question. Wait, the question I, I had I here. I wanted to know that myself. The, the question I wanted to know, I really would like to know, is when is beta? When is beta? And I'm talking specifically about when is the beta for Planet Side 2? The beta for Planet Side 2 is within the next month. We're going to actually be opening it up and, and inviting uh, some of our Hardcore players uh, yeah, from the first month. game. That's pretty soon. Yep. Oh my God. What am I doing, doing in here? I got some work to do. I gotta <laughs> go sign up. No, you got some work to do. Oh, <laughs> I can't get in the beta. Man. All right, so, all right. So, within the next month, we're gonna start letting people in. Yep. Cool, cool. I keep hearing about a technical test. I heard John Smedley was on Twitter talking about a technical test. Um, what do you know about a technical test? Can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, I mentioned that in, my, uh, in the producer's letter I sent out last week. So the technical test is really going to be hitting on some of the, the, the basis of uh, how our servers are doing, how stable the game is, performance, those kinds of things. Um, just be able to open up and get a, a few more folks um, and, and broaden the range of can our servers handle you know, 500 folks, those I kinds see. of things. So it's not really all about going in and checking out if the game is fun. No. It is. I mean, yeah, you got to play it. It's pretty fun. It. Who's no, not, you guys are really missing out. Yeah. Who's not going to play that? Everybody's going to play it. But no, it really is about just making sure that the patch of the whole process actually works. We can get people in fluidly. So when we actually open up the doors and we want to get feedback from individual players about how the game mechanics feel or how the art looks or anything along those lines, um, we're ready. Everything actually works underneath. That sounds cool. That Sweet. sounds cool. So what's up with veterans and getting into the beta? people who played the original Planet Side, um, what's their status? So we've actually been working with our platform crew. We, we do have a list of everybody that's been playing uh, on the original servers, uh, who they are, and even those that have, uh, have on, on top of that put in for beta keys. So we're going to actually make sure that they're in early, that they're in first along with, uh, with our high priority access groups. That's awesome. So we're basically taking care of those guys, making sure that oh, yeah, definitely. the original Planet Side players. Yeah, and that's great for us, too, because we get feedback from people who actually know how to play this kind of game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, there's, a, there's a lot of meta mechanics that are really unique and different than you see in any other shooters. And you really need folks that have experience with it to give feedback on the design or the art, just making sure the mechanics work the way it really should. 
Sounds good to me. Sweet. Sounds good to me. I, I can't wait. So, so I'm very excited. I'm really waiting. I just really want to get in and kill some of the old school cats. <laughs> you want to <laughs> because they, you know, I got to get in first because they don't know what they're doing just yet. And oh, I right. got the advantage. And yeah. then once I hop on them. Then I solidify so my So you want stance, that like three-day like window until belt. you start getting yeah. over? Yeah, yeah. exactly. As soon as they get past the yeah. like, initial stage. That's when I'll stop playing. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, dude. And on the high? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. on high note. Uh, nobody beat me. I killed yeah. everybody. I killed I like 50 people, day. man. Yeah. <laughs> first get, day. Get my wrap up first. All right, so beta's coming up. Veterans are getting in, and then what's what's up next? Like, what's new? What's coming up soon for Planet Tide? You know. So we, there's a lot of events we're going to be at. We're going to be at PAX. We're going to be at uh, Gamescom. We're actually going to try and join a few weeks, and then uh, towards October, we're actually going to be out at SOE Live. So everybody should be joining us. Then. Where is SOE Live? SOE Live. Where is that? Vegas, baby. Vegas. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun. <laughs> no, actually, we're going to even do some kind of tournament. We're going to do something special for players that show up at SOE Live. Uh, get an opportunity to really get hands on the game there too. Sounds Please. like something that everybody should take part in. Oh, definitely. Everybody, definitely. get out there, get to Vegas. What would you like to close with? Just looking forward to seeing everybody in beta and then getting on to launch. Sounds good to me. Sweet. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming out. Plant side to E3. That was Enormous. that was pretty spectacular. Titanic. We yeah. actually rose to the occasion. It yeah. was a. a that road to E3 was pretty, pretty grueling. Yeah, pretty man. Grueling. You know, I knew that we were going to go to E3, and I knew we were going to have a huge show. I knew that we were going to blow people's minds, but I had no idea that we would get the level of recognition that we had there. See, that's funny because I, I thought that this E3 would be just like any other E3 that I've always been to. You go there, you show your stuff, and you leave, and, and it was pretty much over after that. But this time around. You know, we walked away with what, like 41 nominations? 41 nominations, 22 wins. That's but best, best of show, best, best MMO, of show, best like, shooter. Yeah, like we amazing. got best of show from Game Informer, which is huge. It was and huge. then we got we got best of show and like five other, you know, I don't know, maybe like three, four other awards from PC Gamer, which was just ridiculous. You know, yeah, so, usually people at E3 they go to they play something for 10 minutes and they split because they want to see everything, you know. Yeah. But we had people that just wouldn't leave. They wouldn't yeah. get out of our booth. Or people that came back. Or they came back. It yeah. was a m multiple people that actually played the game. They left and went and played some other stuff and it was like, ah, blah. Then they came back to enjoy That's right. what was planned. Side Busy too. guys, too. Editors from big magazines and, and uh, you know, G4, stuff like that. We had these dudes coming back over and over yeah. and over again wanting to keep playing the game. And that was, that was pretty, that was a good feel. Those of you guys who haven't gotten a chance really to check out all the cool stuff that happened at E3, um, there's a whole bunch of footage. You guys are going to be able to check out uh, some cool behind the scenes, uh, like some sneak peeks into the theater demo that we did at E3. There's yeah. some footage out there for that. Lots of pictures up for it too. A lot of people don't know what it's like to be at E3. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's you never. Grueling. It's, it's grueling. really hard to be there. Yeah. So you it's got three, three days, days, three days of yeah. showing and talking and doing all this stuff. As the the show wore on, like, what was it? What was going through your mind? Well, like I said, I knew that we were going to go up there and people were going to be impressed with what we had to show. I knew we had something really solid and really unique that people were going to finally be able to play. Was it, and it was one, just exciting for me. Was it one particular instance no, where there you... No, there absolutely was. There was a moment on the second day when we got that Game Informer Award where I realized, like, oh, man, like, we, we're really doing it. I you have know? a picture of that. I have, actually have a picture of him standing next to the award. He's, like, giddy. And it's funny because you look at the picture, I'm, like, sitting there kissing it, and he's, like... Like vibrating in the picture, <laughs> like so he's yeah. not even not even like corporal. He's just like sitting there, yeah. like in the phase or something. That's it's crazy. Right. No, it was it was a really really uh, kind of powerful moment, I think, honestly, because all the hard work for the last you know months and months and months leading up to E3, all the stuff that we had done, all in the late nights, sort of all felt like it came together in that moment. And yeah. you know, you go to E3 and you're terrified of the game crashing. And I remember five minutes before the doors opened at E3. The internet went out in our booth, and yeah. we were all just like, "Ah, yeah, I no!" That. that was pretty bad. But you know, it, it ended up working out. Everything you know came together really well in the end. Yeah. People played the game; they enjoyed the game. Uh, and to me, I, honestly, it couldn't have been a better feeling. Than yeah, that. for me, it was that that one interview that I did, and right after I got done with it, it was a moment like in the interview where I knew that I had that guy. <laughs> like, you know, he's playing the game, and I'm telling him stuff, and I'm like, yeah, you can do this, and you can do that. And he's like, and he's like he froze for a minute. Right. He's like, oh, man, I can't believe how awesome this is. Yep. And then, like, right after that, he reached in his bag and whipped out the nomination. I was like, <laughs> got that kid. Yeah, you know, no, that's so awesome, because that people great. come in, they're great. all, like, glossy-eyed. It's their first appointment of the day, and they're like, all right, show me whatever you have to see. They don't care, you know, because they're 
you know, they've been yeah, they've, they've been there, been there, done games, that. They've done it. They've done this ten years in a row. But when they when they start to play it, and they're like, wait, are you telling me that? Uh, okay, so wait, all these people are in the same world. Wait, I can play all these vehicles exactly. at once. And they start to like the you see the gears start going uh -huh. like this, and then all of a sudden they're just like, whoa, and they yeah. they get it. They get as it as soon as they get it. That moment, it's such a cool thing to see the light kind of turn on behind. It's your amazing. Eyes. Yep. Planetside one event that we had. We had a community event. And basically what we did was just kind of open it up for everybody to come in and enjoy Planetside 1 while we're still still working on Planetside 2. Anybody and I think who had an active Planetside account at any time, yeah. they reactivated their account so they could come in and join this event. I think the really cool thing about this whole thing was that it was completely community driven. Yeah. Uh, the community on Planetside Universe and a couple of the big active outfits basically planned it all themselves. They said that they wanted to have a Planetside day on this day. They came up with all the events for it themselves. And they basically uh, organized this Really, really amazing event. It was so cool to see um, all the Planetside players coming back into the world again and really being able to play with their friends and yeah. you know meet up with, with old comrades the, and the Thursday, destroy old enemies. Yeah, exactly. The Thursday prior to the actual event, we did an interview on camera mm -hmm. uh, and actually got in the game and played with some of the guys. Okay. And for some strange reason, they kept finding us. I don't know how <laughs> they they continue they they hassled us and hounded us the right. whole time, and we were you know you know it was broadcast live on the internet. Yeah, we were cheating though. <laughs> we we cheated. We boosted up our health a little bit, and it, it made it a little bit you know a little bit even for us because you know it's like two thousand versus the three guys on the map, and uh, you know we were driving around and taking guys out and. In the, the the sky guard, you know, oh yeah, just yeah, rolling right. around the sky guard. That was pretty cool. It was cool. I saw somebody tweet, "Oh, I just got killed by T Ray." I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, you're damn right. That's I right. killed you." <laughs> like, come on. We got when we first started, we, we ended up in a uh, one of the towers. I forget which map it was, and we're just getting slaughtered. Man. Yeah. And then like Dan came in and hooked us up with some some vehicles, and we start flying around. And it was pretty cool. It was it pretty was really cool. cool. It was really yeah. fun. But the whole event, the whole weekend, was awesome and. Huge, huge props to the entire Planetside community for making that event happen um, and participating in that event. It was really fun to see. They had an uh, Empire War event. They all went to Amherst, mm -hmm. and we reset the entire map so that all the bases went neutral, and then each one of the three empires were all max population on that continent, and they mm -hmm. all fought over trying to capture the capital base. So for two hours, it was just this massive raging fight. That was really cool. And then they had a parade where... Uh, miraculously, all three empires like walked out of the warp gate together towards a facility, and none of them like killed each other or like launched <laughs> OSs at each other or anything. They made it all the way in there, and then uh, then they all blew each other up. It was really <laughs> neat getting to see these, you know, BFRs, one one BFR from each empire mm -hmm. walking next to each other, and you know, rows of tanks moving together and stuff. It was yeah. really really cool. Yeah. So our fans are like, I'd say, the, probably the best. Oh yeah. And they they really probably. They they really take the game to heart, and they they really enjoy all the the hard work that went into it, and I, I really appreciate that because, you know, when we were making the first plan side, it was it was all like this, you know, we're doing this unknown thing, and we hope people actually enjoy it, and here we are, like nine, ten years later, people are still enjoying the things that we kind of conjured up, you know, thinking, rolling the dice, thinking this thing would stick, and it yeah. actually did stick, and that's that's an awesome feeling. Well, no other game has ever captured that feeling. No other game. None has yet to come out that has done what Planetside did, which is deliver on hundreds of players being able to coordinate massive team battles together. And that's a really unique and compelling experience. Yeah. That's awesome. why those guys, nine years later, are still playing the game and still loving still it. Still playing it. Still and hungry for more information about people, Planetside 2. People can go out and play it right now. Go out and play Planetside. You know, why are you, why are you waiting on us to finish this game? Go and play Give Planetside. Give us a break. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, go keep yourself busy for a little bit. You know, keep your hands busy. That's right. We got the Infiltrator, uh, the super sneaky stealth assassin character from Planetside mm -hmm. 2. Uh, he's uh, a class in Planetside 2 that's all about infiltration and reconnaissance. He's also our sniper class, so we've got a really cool video for him. You guys can check out what he's all about here. Yeah, he should be pretty sweet. Squad members, enemy tank spotted, southeast my location. Artillery support required.
that, oh, that was awesome. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. I, I Are you gonna like play an infiltrator? Do you do infiltrator? No, I, I'm I'm more on the heavy assault side. Yeah. That's my thing. I don't. I like sniping, but. I don't like getting killed fast. You know? So I need some armor, man. You know, I need yeah. some protection. Well, you, you know? get to, you have to protect yourself with stealth. That's this whole thing. Yeah, right? that's what I'm just saying. I don't. I'd rather I just run in there. Twenty five percent of the time. I, I want to run in there and do the some damage, man. You know, toss some grenades, lay down some fire. You know. Right on. One of the coolest things in E3, I think, this year was the costumes, the planet side costumes. The costumes were amazing. Yeah. Those, they were those really guys cool. at Renegade Effects really did a great job with those. Yeah. Yeah, they and were great. We've got a little segment showing you the creation and the process that we use to create these awesome armors. Check it out. E3 was a great opportunity for us to take our in-game armors and actually bring them into the real world. And what I mean by that is basically we gave Renegade Effects a whole suite of concepts, real world options, reference, ZBrush files, the whole shebang, everything that we use to create our games, we gave that to Renegade Effects, which actually builds Hollywood models and, and armor suits for like movies and stuff like that. So they took that, ran with it, and in six weeks' time, they've created the most spectacular armor suits that I've seen brought to life. And the, the process that they use from, from hammering out the metal, from you know stitching all the clothes by hand, uh, you know, stitching up the leather, you know, picking the right proper materials to actually bring these things to life. All of that, you know, came came together like flawlessly. And at E3, the response was great. Uh, people enjoyed it. We saw a lot of people taking pictures with, uh, with the models and they really had a good time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Now back to me and Matt at the command center. Go! That was really cool. Those guys do awesome work. They, they've done a, a number of things for SOE, you yeah. know, a bunch of stuff for EverQuest in the past, and you know, they continue to create really cool stuff. Well, I, I think that's the best stuff that they've ever done. Uh, obviously, yeah. obviously. You know, they've, they've stepped up the game and definitely brought all of the, the nuances to the to armors, and I think they really did a good job. That was badass. For sure. So last but not least, we got a new weekly segment that we're calling Fan Spam. Any you uh, yeah. budding artists out there have any cool fan art you want to send to Tremel and get some feedback on? Yeah, even the ones that aren't <laughs> so budding, like, you know, <laughs> you go ahead and send them anyway because it's funny. We, we look at them and have a good time just laughing at them. How do we get them? Do people just send them to the Twitter account? Is that how it works? They post them on Facebook. They put, you know, send them on Twitter. They send mm. them to you. They send them to me. Yep. Email like I don't know. somehow they end Pay up on the side of a building. I know they somehow they end up in our inbox or Twitter account somehow. Yep, like, magically we see them. We see them. We love them. So here it is, a reel of the finest fan art that we've gotten so far in the last. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. We should have like a they segment. Except the worst, maybe. Maybe we should put the worst. We should have like a segment with the, the garbage ones. Too. The garbage ones. How about we don't tell anybody if it's exactly. the garbage ones? Exactly. We should the intermingle ones. the garbage ones with the good ones. Therefore, bring in the garbage to the top. Maybe we can do like a thumbs up, thumbs down thing on them. We'll let you guys decide which one's hot. Yep. That's pretty much the best way to go about it, right? All right, check it out. Oh, this is a Vanu one. Wow, look at that. A Va Vanu represented. <laughs> oh, look at that. MC for life. Told you, man. Look That's at that. That's horrible. Oh, look at that dude. One. This is that my was, favorite one. I hate that one. That this one's the worst. You hate this one? That How one's this garbage. One? No way. This is great. Yeah. This one's pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I didn't really think it was sweet. It's I was being even, nice. That actually. doesn't even look like it's, it's straight line. I was actually just being nice. Grand? The ones that was just like, you don't really know what you're looking at. Like yeah. that, that one, that one's pretty. Sweet. Of course, we got the cat Photoshop. The cat one. Oh man, that, that was creepy. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. It's a lot of them, right? Pretty damn gross, gross. Mm, yes. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us for the inaugural episode of Planetside Command Center. I had a great time. Been I'm awesome. glad you guys showed up. Really, really cool. Glad you showed up. I'm <laughs> glad you showed up. I didn't I think you were going to. I was a little late. Yeah. You know how we are. You got your purple chair. How could you not show up? <laughs> I know. You got a special purple chair just for I you. know. Check that out. Purple <laughs> chair. Blue chair. Beautiful, huh? Blue Look dude. That. Purple dude. Faction loyalty. It's NC for life. I'm falling apart over here. Look at this. I'm losing my... All right, sound. We want to remind you guys to uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Make exactly. sure you come to... Uh, what is this? SOE Live. October 18th through the 21st. I'll be there. I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. you be there too. Bally's Hotel and Casino. Yep. Vegas. Beautiful Vegas. Dude, what, you know, what, what can go wrong? Well, nothing could go exactly. wrong. Exactly. What stays in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's right. the wrong way. No, you got it. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I liked it better before. Whatever. Anyway, 
We're going to be hosting a, a brunch for yep. Plant Side 2 uh, on the last day of the show, which is the 21st. Come on out. Make it out ha there. Have, have fun with us. You got to come. Come on out. Go register at SOE.com. Get your tickets for SOE Live. It's going to be a great time. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. See you later. Tony.